Okay, here we go. Craziness. C melody saxophone. Uh, this one's made by the Holton Company. Pretty darn clean. Of course, got a little tarnish on it. Kind of shined up a little bell just to kind of see we can beautiful satin finish. A um, couple little dings down here have been looks like they've been taken out. Main thing is the pads have been it's been repadded at some time, whereas most of these still have the original pads in them from 1920s, 1930s, and it's actually in pretty good uh, playing condition. So um, kind of kind of some cool features. Um, first of all, uh, auxiliary G sharp trill key. Instead of trying to trill G with that weak little finger, you can trill it over here. Uh, a lot of the older horns had this, and, and again, that little finger is just too weak, so get this over here. Then the other thing is the high D, to trill a high D, pretty awkward. So, um... Again, an auxiliary high D key, which I've never seen on another saxophone, but pretty cool. So, um, it's actually uh, opening the key way up here in the D, D area. So, um, beautiful, like a rose brass wash in the bell. Usually they're gold or nothing, or just plain silver, but this has got a rose brass, which uh, was real popular with the Busher saxophones. And again, real straight. But look at the size of that um, chromatic F sharp, like on a Bundy, it's like the size of a dime, and this is like the size of a silver dollar. So very well dented. Uh, vented, not dented, vented. So, um, let's get this real clear. So if you don't know that tune, that was the, uh, if you're old enough, there was a series called My Three Sons uh, starring Fred McMurray, who was also a saxophone player, and he actually played the theme song, uh, recorded it on a C melody saxophone, which is kind of cool. So with most of the C melodies, it costs more to overhaul them than you could ever get back out of a horn, so uh, reselling is not really a, a, an, an option on most of them. But this one, somebody's already done the work, and uh, it's got that normal, you know, tarnished silver patina, which a lot of people like. And if you want it nice and pretty, you can just strip it down, um, give it a good polish, and put it back together. Um, it's a little bit of a job, but it's kind of a labor of love. Neck's in great shape. Um, <clears throat> completely functional. Nice part about this, the cons had the uh, micro turn on, micro, micro tuner, and you couldn't use a modern mouthpiece on it. So this is a modern tenor mouthpiece, or relatively modern, uh, tenor mouthpiece on the C melody, which is like putting a four bell carburetor on a Volkswagen. You can really get some sound. The, the original mouthpieces sounded absolutely terrible. There's no tip opening, so you really can't get any gas through them. So uh, with a tenor mouthpiece on it, it's just like, you know, Again, like putting a big, huge carburetor on a small motor. So it gives you a, a nice big sound. So right down to the low B flat. So, 
let's see if we can do this real quick and If you ever want to do the double saxophone, if you look it up, there's a guy named Gary Regina, a good friend of mine, who plays marvelous saxophones, plays a C melody and that E flat alto at the same time, play the same note like a G on both ones, you get a G on one, you get a B flat on the other, and you can play really cool minor third harmonies uh, doing the two sax thing. So it's worth buying it just for that, so, so you can play two saxophones at once. So anyhow... <laughs> So you get that real cool Eve sound like Guy Lombardo. It's got that real nice, cool 20 sound. Very unique sound, much different than all the rest of the saxophone family. But uh, this one out of favor in like the 40s or the 50s, well, all the 40s. Um, it's making a small resurgence. So, again, every saxophone player should have one. You can play right off the sheet music, sit behind a piano player, and just read off their piano music or read off uh, flute music. It's in the key of C, so, and no need to transpose your tuner or anything. So... So pretty rare you can get, get them right down to that nice B flat so easy. And again made by Mr. Frank Holton. Um, very nicely made. So Needs a new home. Got a million in the cellar, so I got to get rid of a couple. So a friend of mine was collecting these, and uh, and I ended up with his estate. And too many C melodies. He was just nuts for them. So somebody's got to. But anyhow, pretty rare to get one in really good playing condition like this one. So really cheap, cheap, cheap. I mean, a fraction of the price of an overhaul, you can get the whole saxophone. So um, anyhow. It's going to go out in the world for sale. If you have any questions on it, give me a call or give me an email at www.stevegraysaxes.com, Santa Cruz, California. Again, www.stevegraysaxesplural.com on the World Wide Web. And uh, you can email me from my page there. <laughs> Thank you.
So, pretty cool. C Melody Sax, got a nice case with it. Beautiful gold, in ow! Of course, whack me. Beautiful gold inside. All the latches work. Got the normal wear on it. And uh, the perfectly functional nice case with it. Nicely padded. Nice spot for the neck. So anyhow, there you go. So, C Melody Sax by Mr. Um, Frank Holden.